Strasbourg, привет, мой друг. Меня зовут Horat Drak, and we are playing Europa Universalis 4 together with the new DLC or Immersion Pack Third Rome. Playing as Ivan the Terrible on very hard difficulty. We're still fighting Kazak, um, who is an ally to um, Astra Khan over here. We're trying to take out these Eastern Hordes as soon as possible so that we're not on a constant uh, threat from the east whenever we fight the ottomans because these guys are going to be our main problem they're very far into europe already i mean austria is it's a pretty strong austria pretty strong commonwealth i'm not going to find it as easy as in a game that started in 4044 um because these guys have actually blocked quite a bit but uh, still still um Suddenly, um, since, since um, rebels are actually um, holding these two provinces, we no longer have the problem that these guys won't go for a peace treaty. Um, because we're not holding any forts in the area, even though there are no forts. But, I mean, still, it's fine. Hmm. Demands exceed war score, current peace offer, ongoing battles, allied war. We have a native assimilation, 100 population in Serov. And we've also managed to actually isolate part of the Kazakhian army over here. And we're going to fight these guys down now. I mean, shitty rolls on both sides. They do have a good general. And they're also rolling fairly well. Okay, we lost lower Yik. We still won, though, because we had the, bit, uh, the big army. Now, let's actually take out the rest of their army over there. Should be able to do this. Let's hope so. Why not we in the 10th of April? So we've got one month of actually regaining troops. Still need a lot of men. Um, 15,000 men. Uh, to even just to fill up our army. And we're producing fur in Serov now. That's nice. I really don't want them to, to take that back. That place. It's not my idea of a good time. So let's just try and uh, actually destroy that stack. Nope. That's not going my way at all. Oh, Masson actually has a good uh, good general. These guys are having really good rolls. And now we got a good one. Now we got a good one. Very good. That's another Bukhara. Are you fighting someone else? Yes! <laughs> the Carrion Crows have arrived. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Join in. It's going to be very close. They're getting really good rolls. God oh, damn it. The Astro Carnies have now run away. And we won. Okay, very good. I mean, it's 99%. Just saying. Just saying 99%. Nope. Well, 92 versus 210. What, what's still bothering you? Ally in war, demands exceed war score. I only have 49% war score. Guess I gotta get more land then. Need more land. Need more land. They might actually give in to the Nogai Separatists. Which would be fine. Then I could demand more stuff in the east. Um, let's come over here. Let's take those provinces. Uh, I'm gonna pull one group of mercenaries. And we're gonna send them in there. So that they can siege that down whenever we get there. I think that's fine. That has an 18 supply limit. I've just got to be very careful in terms of attrition. How's our war exhaustion? We're 0.53. We had an event where um, this was deemed a holy war and clergy and population got behind it. So that's pretty good. Uh, we lost a bunch of people in that battle over there. But oh well. Tea and sugar. It's becoming more popular in Europe. Uh, I've got a new core in here in the former Nogai state. Um, how's it looking in terms of... Yeah, okay. I could be a lot faster, but I guess I can live with it. Really need more patriarchal authority. That would be very good. We'll get there, I guess. Uh, Nogai is under our occupation. Um, their troops are basically non-existent now, so... I guess I'm just gonna send mercenaries in each of these. I'm gonna just siege them down really quick. Maybe some of the enemies of Kazakh will actually help me. Don't I don't quite understand why they're not willing to give up um, the land I'm asking for. Since that would allow them to fight their other enemies. 
Just saying. Just saying. Yeah. These are going to be very high autonomy provinces. Because these guys sieging them all down. We lost the Battle of Nadim against 3,000 Astrakhani troops. <laughs> Alright then. Uh, we have a call for peace. We have a call for peace. Alright then. Send these guys down. I really want my land though. I want my land. Give up. Mm, they will go for this. I don't want to. I want more land. Okay, we lost another occupation. We're gonna get this one though. Um, these guys are done. Move them over. There are some, some real Kazakh troops again. Are they moving against my guys? I wonder. Is that what they're planning? They could actually deal with their separatists, but oh well, don't mind me. Uh, they're sieging back that crap from over there. That's annoying. Interesting. So they're coming after me again. Uh, maybe it's time to just peace out. Do something like this. Why are they willing to do this? I mean, they're not the main combatant, but I'm going to have a coalition form in any case. Maybe just do something like that. Go for Kazakh um, in a separate in a separate war then. Hmm. I'm wasting a lot of resources on this kind of crap. A lot of resources. I kind of would like to get on with my things now. At least they're willing to give me some provinces. Yeah, they're willing to give me that one too. No, not that one. They're willing to go for 61. Maybe that's not too bad. Maybe we'll just take that and be done with it. War operations. Oh, they're not willing to do it now. Negative. Why not? Is that so much war score? The war operations? Hmm. Right, yeah, I guess we I guess we're just gonna take that. And then we're gonna eat the Astrakhani. Glorious victory against these guys. We just need a lot more um, resources to fight them down. And now we've got these a-holes in our own provinces, which is not great. Merge these guys, bring them over. I'm um, gonna call. Uh, various places. How are we in terms of overextension? We're 25%, so that should not be too bad. Hello, Astrakhan. Gotta wait for my diplomat to come back. Yeah, we really want to fight these guys off. Should not let these guys just handle the area. Yeah, we've got a bunch of autonomy. These are actually kind of shitty provinces now. Cannot be decreased while you're at war. Well, we're going to be out of the war very soon. Um, let's just start the calling process. Uh, we should be able to get rid of these guys as well. Soonish. Come on. Yeah, they're gone. Make that a call as well. You're fine. Uh, I'm going to send you back to Nizhny Novgorod. I'm going to need some troops in the area just to keep any insurgencies down. Maybe something like this. And then Astrakhan, we're going to go for something like that. Um, what's the bad idea? This will bring them down to the status of a one province minor. I think that's what I want, 99%. And then there will sort of be um, a captive inside my own lands. That pushes me up to 62% overextension, which is fine. It's just about the max of what we can take. Major victory. Very good. Um, overextension is dangerously high. I know. But I'm going to deal with it right now. Right. All that coring. Very nice. Truce with Kazakh. And now truce and 68. So 50 more years. I'm going to wait until this uh, can be ours. But yeah, that actually pushed them back quite a bit. The only thing that I gotta do now is go after these guys. Go after Sibir. And since I have a bunch of claims against them, I might as well just 
go for it then before they actually pick up any allies or anything. Although, I mean, Kazak is down. I don't think they'll actually be willing to ally Kazak. Might not be a thing. Well, um, in terms of autonomy... Increase autonomy. Minimum value is 75%. All right, then. All right, then. That's fine. Good. Made a lot of gains. We're done with Persia. With a holy war against Gazimuk because they are now directly on our borders. So Cassia... Yeah, we actually just... They would actually be willing to go for vassalization. Which is fine, I guess. Four five diplomatic relations. Yeah, why not? Let's let's uh, expand peacefully in that area. With 83. Let's go for a little bit of royal marriage there. Ah, yeah, they're offering. Okay. And we've got a new queen from there. That's that's also good. It's a Cassian queen. What else can we do? I'm gonna offer you military access. That's 120. Gotta make that happen soonish. These guys are not willing to do it. At least not currently. Are oh, they already a vassal? Junior partner under Georgia. And these guys have subjects of their own, so they're not gonna be a vassal. These guys, on the other hand, I could just attack. They have no allies. They have no allies whatsoever. That might not be a bad idea, actually, <laughs> now that I come to think of it. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. It's a bit crazy, but, I mean, we gotta push. We gotta push. All belongs to Mother Russia. All the land. Wait. Um, let's send one guy to improve relations. Because every month that goes in, uh, goes forward, where well, we don't do that, it's kind of a waste. They're sending their troop back and forth. They know perfectly well that that's uh, a losing war for them. They have no way of staying independent in there. <laughs> they have absolutely no way. Uh, I would like to vassalize these guys before, though. That would be kind of nice. So let's proclaim a guarantee. That increases it to 138. I might just send them a gift just to be done with it. They have no debt. That's fine. How many troops are we missing? 18,000 still. Holy cow. Holy cow. But we should be able to win this. We got like... Yeah, actually, we have more cannons than other troops in here. Guess we lost a bunch of these mercenary guys. Let's just take some of the of the bigger mercenary groups, something like this, just to make sure that we're not uh, using cannons in the front line, because that's always kind of a stupid thing to do. Um, could influence them. It's only going to cost me 12, and uh, going to give us 25 opinion. That's a little bit cheaper than a, a gift, I think. 166 now. I mean, they have 8k. They can actually swing some of their weight. But more importantly, it's going to help us close the gap towards the um, towards the Ottomans. It's also going to give us a um, a border with them over here. But oh well. That's fine. Where's the gift? I guess I can't really send them a gift. Yeah, running a deficit while having loans. That's not great. What's that? Countries wish to hire Condottieri. Georgia wants to hire some troops. You're fighting the Ottomans. Moldavia, Ragusa, Transylvania, Valachia, Crimea, Algiers, Kabylia, Tlemcen, Tugua, Tripoli, and Dongola. Yeah, my troops really don't have to die. The recent war took a heavy toll on our people. Many were called, few returned. The families of nobles and commoners alike toiled as they waited for soldiers to return home, but the war ended and they never did. Now the toiling continues, many being so preoccupied with the work to make up for the lost pair of hands that they barely have time to grieve. Of the ones who have time to think, many increasingly thinking that we have been throwing away lives too carelessly. Um, 
More national unrest is not really what I want, but also less tax is also not what I want. How's our unrest currently? Plus 1.2. Yeah, that's pretty bad. National manpower modifier. It's just five years. 20%, so we're gonna lose. I'm gonna lose 15,000. That's a good chunk of men. Okay, I can do and deal with the economy uh, a little bit easier than with other stuff, I guess. Transfer trade power actually makes them, like you, more. Hmm. They would be willing to give us 50% of their trade power. Yeah, that gave us another 10 modifier. We're getting there. We're getting there. I want to get the vassalization done before anything else happens. Yeah, this is actually pretty bad. What kind of war are you? What is that war? Ottoman conquest of Semtke. Over here, yeah. They're going to eat these orthodox kingdoms. And I really don't want that. But what I want is... I mean, if I can get that over here... I kind of have the defensive um, option that I want. Persia is fighting the Ottomans, actually. Interesting. Why? Did you um, give these guys a guarantee? Apparently. Yeah, guaranteeing the independence of Georgia. Okay. That's all right. That's all right, then. Good, actually. Very good. 179. Send an insult. There's nothing else I can do to get on their good side. Fleet basing rights, they don't want. Just gotta wait a couple of months until we're actually getting somewhere here. You have no alliances, no alliances, no alliances. I mean, if I were them, I would actually try to band up. We've taken another loan. I'm gonna deal with the economy situation um, at some future point. Not now, though. Um, our newly appointed metropolitan of Tver has uncovered a horrifying local heresy. He claims that the sect is denouncing the Trinity, the divinity of Christ, and the ecclesiastical hierarchy. The metropolitan has asked us to help him in this time of need, as he would require many more resources to root out this heresy, which is widespread among high as well as low. The case seems very clear, except it seems the sect has some supporters even in Moscow. Can we really afford to lose the support of these men and women? And are they really as heretic as the Metropolitan claims? Uh, okay. State maintenance for another 10 years. And four local unrest. Holy crap, that's a lot of unrest. For 10 years. I'm not sure if that's worth five patriarchal authority, but the problem is if I don't support that, then we're going to have... Uh, we're going to lose 15, so that's a 20... 20 point swing. Okay, heretics must burn. Yeah. I mean, we're not playing Ivan the Terrible uh, for no reason. Spain paid all foreign debt of Georgia, really. Spain even knows that Georgia exists. That amazes me. And we have no guy separatists. Holy. Oh, come on. Really? Accommodation with natives in Serov. These guys have lost one ferocity. And that's actually moving forward really well, that whole um, business over here. And I'm going to actually be able to take those two provinces, Komi and Berazov. Hmm. I guess I have to engage these guys, like, right now. Maybe put Kozimovsky in charge. I guess that's fine. I really don't want the increased separatism in the provinces. Um, we're going to give you Piotr Shusky. Like right now, I'm going to have these guys follow up, I guess. Come on. Move it. 30th. We're going to be there on the 11th of January. Nope. Oh, come on. Crap. I'm always underestimating the time that it takes to move from one province to another in these um, in the Russian area. Because these are just huge um, areas if you compare it with Europe. Although it's gotten a lot better. I mean, this patch um, that accompanies that thing is also giving um, the Russian era a lot more uh, small provinces and, and the like to make warfare more um, meaningful and more tactical. Because the less provinces you have, the more difficult it is to outmaneuver an enemy. Right, okay, so that's done. 
Let's take the big group back down. Hmm. Montenegro has agreed to share their maps of Pontic Steppe with Spain, who learned of one provinces. Right. Okay. How are you guys? 85. Come on. I know you want it. I know you want to join my empire. Alright, we got that one back. Yeah, we're gonna send these guys to somewhere where we won't have rebellions very likely. Um, how does it look? Any more rebels? We've got Astrakhani separatists. 40%. 1.7 years. What is which place is contributing the most? I mean, they're all contributing a lot. Astrakhan, Manish. And what I can do is I can actually just put these guys in the in the provinces themselves. Over here, Spain has paid all foreign debt of the knights. Spain really has a lot of money coming in with the treasure fleets from South America. I'm guessing. And then they're distributing it through all of uh, Europe, which is pretty nice of them, if you think about it. Let's go up to speed four. Come on. Kiva have started a claim on me. Okay, yeah, I guess they can do that through... Because um, we're sharing a, a sea zone. That's going to happen. And then as soon as we're done here, we're actually going to invade Galzimuk. Off of vassalization. Yeah, I got a new vassal now. Hello. Got no diplomats to send. I'm going to declare war. Oh, that's a Caucasian war goal. No, we don't we don't want that. Just holy war, I guess. It's also going to give us a bunch more prestige. Um, my vassals will be called in. The rest doesn't really care for a war that far in the east, but that's fine. Um, Piotr... Take it. Make it happen. Right, looking good. These guys should have no chance whatsoever. Yeah, and they're gone. 20 war score. Um, leave a siege. I move the rest into that capital, which we're going to siege down. And then we're going to be fine. Coring is still kind of a slow process. I wonder how that's going to end. There's actually a good chance that Persia might... Um, I mean, they're already throwing their weight around. Kind of curious that they don't have the Ottomans as their enemies. Would be in their own um, interest to make that happen. And force peace. Choose the country you want to side with. Ottomans. Yeah, no, I'm not going to side with the Ottomans. I could try to enforce peace against these guys, though. Hmm. Fear of Russia. At least six. I mean, you're fearing us a little bit. I gotta commend that. <laughs> okay, we've got one of the two provinces. And we're gonna have the second one in a little bit. Yeah, they're already ready to give up. Let's see how much money these guys have. Maybe we can pull out uh, a fair amount of money. That would be nice. No one rest in here. 19%. I mean, these guys are reducing the unrest a little bit by a couple a couple percent percentage points, but it's not a huge amount. I guess I have to have the troops around there. We've been we've been eating like mad though. <laughs> and we're not going to stop. Got to deal with the money situation in a little bit. Once we're in there, Russian Orthodox Church declares independence. Liberating it from the Tatar invaders, the Muscovite state gathered strength, and so did the Russian Orthodox Church. In 1448, not long before the Byzantine Empire collapsed, the Russian Church became, in effect, independent from the Patriarchate of Constantinople. Uh, Metropolitan Jonas, installed by the Council of Russian Bishops in 1448, was given the title of Metropolitan of Moscow and all Russia. In the centuries to come, the growing might of the Moscovite state went hand in hand with the growing authority of the autocephalous Russian church. In 1589, um, Jeremiah II, Patriarch of Constantinople, fleeing from Turkish oppression, visited Moscow. The Russians managed to persuade him to appoint Metropolitan Job of Moscow Patriarch, the final move towards full independence for the Russian church. Um, one stability... 
10 patriarchal authority um all the surrounding orthodox um people like us that's pretty nice no all the remaining orthodox um countries i guess <laughs> not a lot of them left no we need constantinople to lead the true faith why would i ever pick that <laughs> i'm just here to screw over the ai i guess so we gain another stability now the question is 133 Hmm. The overextension is pretty expensive, as is. I could just wait until Pokrovsk is done. Ah, it's still a long time off. I've taken a loan. I guess I'm just gonna... I'm gonna spend the admin points. And take this. So now we're at stability 2, which should help a lot with the revolt risk. And now once the overextension dies down, we should be even, even better off. Hello. So, Gazimuk. You are going to give me your money, which is um, actually quite a fair amount. And we're going to take these. Or should I just give them to um, Kirkassia? I don't think so. I think we just take that land for ourselves. I mean, they got claims on it. These are Sunni. These guys are Orthodox. Not just a tribal federation, though. I think we're better off if we just take these um, for ourselves. So, sue for peace. We're going to take those. We're going to take that. Nothing else that we can really ask them for. All right. Peace offer. They are cursed infidels. Let's go. Let's call that one. Let's call that one. That brings us to the end of our of our points, really. This has a 23 force limit. Magdeburg has given back some unlawful territory. Very interesting. Ah, oh, come on, go away. Always misclicking that. So we have 14 and 19 um, in terms of unrest. That's not great. <laughs> and with... Oh, and Separatist sentiment. With our reputation, our neighbors think we are the spawn of the devil and all plotting our downfall. Separatist conspirators are leading, are spreading lies and igniting rebel sentiment in Guriev. Have I gone over the 100%? Yes, I did. Holy cow. Holy cow. Come on. Finish this. Yes. Okay. So, we converted some people. And that also brought us under the 100% uh, over extension. Man, that was... Um, not great. Now we're gonna try to move forward over here. All the smaller ones are already done. Well, let's go for you then. I wouldn't even mind having um, an Inquisitor or someone. Nope. No such luck. No such luck. Oh well, that's fine. Kazim has embraced feudalism. Well, good for you then, Kazim. Guess I could just um, integrate them actually. Kazim. Hello. Annex Vassal, 104 um, power. I guess we're going to send a diplomat over there to um, make something like that happen. That's all right. Uh, could invest in a new idea, but I kind of I want the next level of military tech, and then we're going to go for more ideas. Yes, it's super expensive, but oh well. I want the musketeers. We need the musketeers, that's for sure. We've got 15, 15. We've got 13. Man, this is a this is a whole army in and of itself. That's not good. Yeah, we're gonna send you back to Novgorod. Um, so in terms of money situation, we're losing a crap ton of money. Why is that? Why is that? So is it all army maintenance? No, it's mainly forts. Um, we have only one percent inflation. Declare bankruptcy. I don't really want that. I could debase the currency. How many loans do we have? Um, with six loans. Yeah, that doesn't really help us. But once Latouse is... Um, I don't know, it's already, it's already changed. I guess we could just increase the gold production over here. I guess I would need to make Bashkiria a proper state. Um, yeah, we got three um, of the needed... Um, of the, of the uh, provinces that actually... Um, make up that state. I think it could be a good idea to make that happen. We'll increase our income by 0.41 when autonomy has been reduced to lower levels. That's pretty nice. Um, these guys don't create overextension anymore and they're also instantly done. Something like that. Good. 
Uh, now what I could do is I could just invest some of my considerable diplomatic power into this province. Hmm. At least until I'm at least until I'm capped out, which I'm gonna be like right now. Still, that's gonna give us uh, a bunch more mo uh, money. Two point twenty-five. That should do something. Can't really reduce the maintenance for my army, and I can also really not not cut the maintenance for my um, for my forts. So what else? Interest. I mean, we're paying eight point sixty-seven for advisors. Oh yeah, we're having some problems over here. They should have they should have a penalty though, I think. Well, apparently not. But we won anyways. That's fine then. Okay, now the unrest is gone though. Oh great. And we have we have some more separatism over there. Come on. Just oh. Right, right, right. It's my fault. It's totally my fault. That can happen. I'm gonna send you to no guy. Do we have any more rewards now? Yeah, actually we do. Kazaki separatists, Gazimuk separatists. Well, finally, we've actually digested all the stuff that we've taken. Um, this place, Ust, Medvedskia, where is it? Well, I would like to would like to um, make as many of these. Oh yeah, it's over here. It's over here. Crap. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Actually, smush these guys, take the province back, and then convert these people. And now that the overextension has gone down, we should be in a lot of a, uh, in a much better position to actually take on Sibir. Uh, because all our other truces are still running. 63, um, 64, these guys are completely gone. These guys are running until 68 even. So I guess that's fine. Only Sibir is open as a place to conquer things. Right, so this is going to be caught in a little bit. Come on. I guess I'm just wasting the months, actually. Talented and ambitious daughter. The lack of an heir is worrying both the people of Russia and your advisors. You have an ambitious and talented daughter who has impressed both the diplomats, foreign nobles, and your personal advisors with her wit and cunning. Is it not time to consider her as the heir to the throne? I mean, why would I go for a 343? No. No. Rebellious people for five years. But only Moskva. Okay, yeah, I live with that. I live with that, actually. That's fine. Stop annoying me with that. Right, so let's send our second missionary in there. Try to um, make something happen over here. Um, yeah, we cut down the deficit a little bit. Now that um, we have caught all the provinces, or most of the provinces, still three short, um, our reward risk should actually not be that bad. Yeah, it's now minus 4.01. So these guys, yeah, 1.6 years and 4.1 years. Could actually just send a couple of troops into the Gazimuk area. That might be a good idea. Tripoli has been discovered. Right, that should that should um, put that a little bit off. 1.8 years. 4.2 years until the Kazaki separatists come up. Um, I'm gonna call, the, call these guys and then I'm just gonna reduce the army maintenance, I guess. Um, the riches await in the east, so I guess Sibir is next in the next episode. Um, but for now, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you wanna see more of the series in the future, please consider subscribing. Hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye bye.